We're at uh, the Vulcan Project in the East Kootenai region in British Columbia. The, the project's owned by Eagle Plains Resources, 100% uh, ownership of it. Um, I've been involved actually with the Vulcan uh, exploration work since uh, the early 90s. So I've got about 30 years of, of experience on this project. It's kind of haunted me over the years. There's uh, a lot of indications on this property that there is significant mineralization. We've seen a lot of hints over the years. Uh, this program is the most recent uh, attempt at discovering economic mineralization on the property. Essentially the geology is is uh, there's a thick package of, of sedimentary rock here, about actually 15 kilometers thick. But what's remarkable of, about it is uh, there's a specific horizon between the lower and the middle Aldridge where the Sullivan deposit was discovered in 1892. Um, the Sullivan was one of the biggest mines in the world for 60 years and still remains uh, until its closure was one of the biggest deposits ever found. So it's a very, very large prize. Um, we've, been, we've been looking for it, we've been spending uh, money over the years doing a lot of systematic exploration to try and figure out where, where the next one is. The, the Sullivan closed about 20 years ago, closed in 2000, but it had been running continuously for almost 100 years and had four to 500 employees throughout that period. So the, the economic engine from finding a deposit like this is, is very, very substantial and can't really be underestimated. The value of the deposit is in today's uh, metal uh, terms is about 40 to $50 billion. So it would be a game changer for the province and really for the country if, if anyone was to find another one. It's typically around the world, Sullivan deposits, that type of mineralization is a SEDEX deposit or sedimentary exhalative deposit. And other places in the world where they're known to be, they don't come in ones, they come in clusters of other deposits. So we expect and we suspect very strongly that there's other ones around here. They've just been very elusive for others to find. We are spending Eagle Plains' own money on this project, which we don't do very often. We like to joint venture out our projects to shed risk, to, to mitigate risk, and to get other companies to help with the marketing. But we like this project enough that we are committing our funds to it. This round of drilling will cost about $1.2 million. That's what it's budgeted at right now. The first hole was drilled about eight kilometers away, down in the valley floor. The second hole was drilled about two kilometers to the north from here, and this is the third hole. This hole itself is uh, targeting the lower middle uh, Aldridge contact, which is Sullivan time, we call it, which is typically uh, about 200, 200 feet below the lower middle contact in that area. So this hole here is targeting that horizon about 300 meters down. It'll take a week or two to, to get to that depth, depending on if, if there's any drilling complexities, but we expect uh, to be, you know, in the next week or so testing that horizon. We did hit it successfully in the first two holes, and we've seen enough encouragement from that, that, uh, you know, we will continue drilling and, and continue exploring the property.